Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a simple shake effect like this right here. Now I know there's a lot of plugins out there that you could find on Premiere, DaVinci, or other software out there such as After Effects and Nuke where you can emulate camera shake. Now, there's some of them are pretty good. Some of them are honestly pretty bad, but I like to go for the most natural look that I can to get that realistic look. And in this short video in Premiere, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a realistic camera shake by taking data that you get from another shot and implementing it on your super smooth shots to get that different feel. Implementing something so small like a little camera shake or a shimmy on a piece of footage can change the emotion dramatically in the edit. Sometimes a director shoots something on scene and maybe wants to change the look and feel of a scene while you as the VFX artist or the editor can come in and change that emotion with a little trick like this. This is just one of many ways that we do it. But in Premiere, all it's gonna take is just two simple clips. We're gonna use a built-in effect and some footage that I shot handheld without any assistance of gimbals or stabilizers. And I'm gonna show you guys how it's done right now, so let's jump in. All right, due to this effect, it's actually fairly simple. I've got this footage here that I've got from artgrid.io, and uh, it's in 25 FPS, so that's something to pay attention to. I'll convert it really easily through the process here. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the sequence with the footage that I'm actually gonna be using to stabilize it with. So let's go over here, let's isolate what I wanna use. There's this part on this footage when I shot this uh, that has just the flame. This will work for this shot. I'm just gonna grab the footage only, drag it over, and it's gonna create a new timeline that's in 24 frames a second, which this will work out. Now, I just gotta pay attention because sometimes when you move footage from a, a frame rate that into a project of a different frame rate, it can add some issues to it, some artifacting. But in this case, it comes out pretty clean, so I'm not too worried about it. What I wanna do is I wanna take this footage. This is gonna be what's our template footage that we actually aren't gonna use in our project, but we're gonna utilize the data that we're gonna extrapolate off of it onto the footage that we're actually gonna make. So let's go over here. Let's grab our woman on the metro scene here. I'm going to use my razor tool C just to shorten that up real quick. And again, this is just a demo to show you how it works. Now, the big thing I want to do, though, is I want to change the size of our sequence because I created off the B Rob, which is in 6K, whereas I want to be in 4K. So we're just going to simply come up here to sequence, sequence settings, and let's go to Ultra HD, which is 3840, 2160. This is just a simple 4K set up 16 by 9. Uh, I also got to reduce this size here. Now, I can come in here and just do this effect right now, but I already know one thing that you're going to need to do as well, and I'll explain why this is the case here in a few, but I need to come in here and we need to throw an effect on this B-Roff. So let's come in here and throw in a horizontal flip like so. And so now the footage has been mirrored. And in this case, it's going to work just fine. After that's done, just highlight both clips, right click and go to nest. We'll call this shaky cam. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a warp stabilizer effects. We're going to let this do its thing, but as it does that, we can do some work here. I usually go to position, scale and rotation. Smooth motion is fine. For this one, let's start off at 100%. We can always change that later. Uh, and all of these settings look good. So we're gonna let it do its thing and then we'll come back when it's ready. Awesome, we are back and you're gonna notice right off the bat it is pushed in on this shot, which is fine. We don't care too much about that. And it looks good, nice and smooth. And so this effect is pretty much done. All we have to do is now dive in here and we just simply turn off the top layer and now we have our source footage. And now we have a shaky cam. And as you can tell, this effect just changes the emotion of the shot tenfold. We go from something nice and smooth, a little bit cinematic, but this is still cinematic, but now we've got this shaky and it adds this anxiety, this angst to the shot that you may need. Adding this little camera shake is a simple and easy effect to just add emotion to our shots. If you have a nice smooth gimbal shot and you wanna get a little bit of a handheld feel to it, this is a great way to do it. Let me know in the comments what you think of this effect. If you know a different way that may be easier or better, I'd like to hear it. If you like this video though, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you know when new videos go live. And I'll see you in the next video.